The development of future fighter jets will directly affect the national defense strategies and geopolitical patterns of various countries, so this competition has attracted much attention. This competition is not only a technical competition, but also reflects the competition of international military power. What is the sixth generation fighter jet? This is a topic often discussed by military fans. Of course. When will my country's sixth generation fighters be unveiled, and how they are progressing compared with the United States and Russia, it is also an issue that military fans are concerned about. The development of generation fighters lags behind the United States, and is similar to Russia. The development of the sixth generation aircraft is the only opportunity to overtake the United States in corners, so it has attracted everyone's attention. At present, it is known that the United States, Russia, and China have all served the fifth generation fighters. The United States, Russia, France and Japan have all entered the R&D stage of the sixth generation aircraft. In the race for future fighter jets, the United States is locked in a fierce competition with Lockheed Martin. The United States seeks to gain air superiority through the NGAD project, while Lockheed Martin has proposed a striking concept of a tailless manned jet fighter. From the report on China at the second China Aviation Science and Technology Conference in 2015, some information about the sixth generation fighters has been mentioned. When the J-20 has been installed, the research and development of the sixth generation aircraft should have been in progress. Recently, the chief designer of J-20 it also revealed more news about the sixth generation machine. Both China and the United States are increasing their investment and striving to occupy a dominant position in future air battles. This competition will not only be fierce at the technical level, but will also trigger major changes in international politics and military strategy. The United States and China present completely different concepts in the design of sixth generation fighter jets. The multi-vector engine is also the basis for the sixth generation fighter to change any flight state, followed by the airborne laser weapon technology. Because the laser is very fast, the launch is not like traditional air-to-air -air missiles. Need. In the future, air combat will be a contest between stealth fighters, which may start from medium and long distances, and the use of laser weapons has obvious advantages. Of course. These designs lay the foundation for the establishment of a more intelligent sixth-generation UAV command system platform in the future. The United States and China present completely different concepts in the design of sixth-generation fighter jets. The United States emphasizes the application of a high degree of automation and artificial intelligence, aiming to improve the intelligence and autonomy of fighter aircraft so that pilots can focus more on decision-making and tactical execution. Instead, China has adopted a two-seat fighter design that allows the backseat pilot to focus on controlling the drone to enhance aerial situational awareness. This difference reflects the two countries' different concepts in fighter aircraft operation and task allocation. The United States focuses on the cutting-edge technology, while China focuses on flexible response capabilities in complex combat environments. The design of the sixth-generation fighter jet focuses on balancing supersonic cruise capabilities and stealth performance, reflecting the unique concepts of different countries in aircraft research and development. The United States tends to emphasize infrared stealth characteristics and reduce the chance of multi-angle infrared detection. At the same time, it is considering using thrust vector engines to maintain super maneuverability. This design concept highlights the strategic orientation of the United States in a comprehensive combat environment, focusing on multi-dimensional confrontation. In the design of sixth-generation fighter jets, unmanned wingmen play an indispensable role. The U.S. Air Force's NGAD project regards unmanned wingmen as part of a high-performance fighter design, and the Chinese Air Force and aviation industry have followed suit and proposed similar concepts. These unmanned wingmen can not only perform independent tasks, such as reconnaissance and electronic warfare, but can also cooperate with manned fighter jets to form a powerful joint combat capability. This integrated tactic not only improves combat efficiency, but also significantly reduces pilot risks, making future battlefields safer. As the design of sixth-generation fighter jets becomes more complex, pilot training and operations face new challenges. The two-seat design means more trained pilots are needed, especially in managing complex battlefield environments and controlling unmanned wingmen. At the same time, 
The introduction of highly automated and artificial intelligence-assisted decision-making systems also requires pilots to have higher technical understanding and the ability to quickly adapt to new systems. These challenges involve not only flying skills, but also tactical decision-making and multitasking capabilities. The research and development of the sixth-generation fighter jet is not only a technical contest, but also a confrontation between the strategic thinking and military concepts of China and the United States. This competition is not only about who can achieve technological leadership, but also about who can better integrate these new technologies and develop more effective strategies. Recently, the chief designer of J-20 it also revealed more news about the sixth-generation machine. According to the details of the J-20 chief designer Yang Wei's visit to CCTV, the domestically produced sixth-generation fighter aircraft will replace multiple core components, such as terahertz radar, artificial intelligence system, adaptive variable cycle engine, etc. And the overall preference is informatization and intelligence. And on the question of what the fighter is, the chief designer Yang Wei said that the layout design of the sixth-generation fighter is closer to the design of Transformers, and it has a certain ability to deform in the air. Of course, this deformation ability does not it will not be as exaggerated as in the movie, but a partial deformation adjustment. According to previous news, the sixth-generation fighter may cancel the design of the canard and the lift side wings and the vertical tail. In order to achieve the high stealth effect of the integrated flying wing, this design is quite necessary. However, in a published patent it is further confirmed. The design of China's next-generation fighters is a variable aerodynamic layout. Based on the aerodynamic layout of the J-20, the wings of the next-generation fighters are designed with a larger diamond shape, which reminds people of the first stealth of the US military. The design of the attack power F-117. The difference is that the F-117 has an obvious V-shaped vertical tail. While China's sixth-generation fighters will be changed to a vertical diagonal angle that can become a full moving tail. And it will be changed to a V-shaped vertical tail, flat tail and lower tail during flight. There are three ways of repeated fins. Of course, the canards that have not been cancelled in the deformation design can also be changed. When entering the air-to-air -air flight state, they can automatically be incorporated into the large side strips on both sides of the inlet, so that the fighter can glide. 